Hello everyone, my name is Silver Willowing and today we're taking another look at a legendary mount in Riders of Icarus. So the mount for today's video is Tavor, which is a store mount, so you can get him by heading into the store and heading to the familiar tab. He won't be around forever, but by the time this video is up, he's still there and you can still grab the package. So once you unbox the package, you get all these items, I had a few of them already, and then you also get Tavor. So the special deal with this particular package, and it's something that's a common theme with a lot of the different mount packages, is that you actually don't get a mount, you get a summoning scroll for the mount, and then you get a faded mark. So you actually get to tame the beasts. So it's the first time I'm trying this out, this whole taming summoning scroll mechanic. So we're gonna try it out with Tavor. So first you have to demount. I was trying to use it while riding my puff dragon and that's not gonna work out. So you have to be on the ground, just your character, and then we're gonna summon Tavor. So here we have Tavor, he just came out of nowhere and he does look very impressive, but he also looks quite aggressive. However, he does not hurt me, he's not attacking me, so I can pretty much just tame him whenever I want. And uh, just jump right on him, and we have a faded mark, so this should be easy. Oh, he's rolling around, and there we go! We successfully tamed Tavor! Very, very nice! So he gets this aura immediately as we tame him, which is super, super nice. This blue and black aura, which is really well with the colors, because he has very dark colors. And he has this dark, wonderful blue color that goes really well with this glow. So he's a very unique beast, because his face is almost like a mask, like a tribal mask. And then he has these huge horns, with these ribbons hanging down. He is of the griffin kind of model animations. The wings are the same, the head is different, tail is different, but it's overall the same. And I love the griffin uh, animations and the overall build, so I don't mind that he has the griffin body. So he has these long strings sticking out with like a little ball and then feathers at the tip of them, which again looks quite tribal and uh, you know just very cultural for him. Uh, in his appropriate culture, which I'm not sure what is, whatever fits into the Rise of the Cards world. And then of course the tail as well, which just moves greatly. And uh, it's kind of a unique tail, it's very big, and then it's kind of tied up in this uh, kind of, I almost want to call leather-like material, that's kind of tightening it in, and then it has like this little tuft at the tip, which is very, very impressive. I love his design and which is why I picked him up because he looks very unique compared to the other mounts that is in game. So I wanted to give him a chance because I always love unique stuff that is different and still, you know, cool and I definitely think Tavor is. So we're gonna try to take him in the air and he has this really impressive hovering animation with his giant wings and he's kinda looking around looking very very cool. As we're flying forward uh, I'm somewhat disappointed because I was expecting the Griffin animations, but Tavor has somewhat different animations. He's not flying as powerfully as the Griffin is, uh, so he does have somewhat unique animations, which is in itself good, it should be good, but I was expecting the Griffin because I really love the Griffin, so I'm a little bit disappointed with that, but I think it looks quite alright and it makes Tavor that much more unique. So we're gonna try the gliding, and uh, he looks very strange when he's gliding. It almost looks like he's glitching out, but this is his gliding, which isn't really gliding, it's just his fast flying, I guess you can call it. And he's very just, you know, uh, going all over the place, flapping powerfully, swinging around in the area. It almost looks like he's trying to get me off, like I'm still taming him. So he's a very wild beast, uh, that's for sure. So it is comes across as kind of awkward. <laughs> I don't really think it's the greatest animations for him. I was hoping just for gliding of you know really the tournament just gliding ahead because I really like that. But I mean this works for Tavor. He is a very special creature, so I suppose he does deserve some special flapping uh, gliding animations. And uh, he definitely has that, that's for sure. And uh, we're also going to take a look at his stats, so we can see uh, how good he is as well. He has a base speed of 15, which is very fast. So Tavor has an ability called Mystica Beast Aura, which is an overall attack increase by 40%, overall defense increase by 40%, 
health increased by 30%, move speed increased by 25%, all attributes increased by 39. So that's very good, it's very useful. And Tavor's max level is 60. He also has another skill called Mystical Instinct, which is familiar experience increase, move speed increased by 20%, stat limit break increased by 5%. And he has the Hakane Crossing Recall as well. Some really decent abilities for Tavor. I definitely think so. So I'm really glad I picked him up. watching this video and hopefully I will see you in the next one. So long fellow writers!